Hello YouTube, it's me Tri-State EDC. I just woke up before the Sunday live stream because we got packages to open. Uh, this one's from Dang Ross. You know him, you love him. He's a guy, he watches the channel. What's up, Dang, how you doing? I, dude, you probably told me what this was. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out together. Right now. <laughs> Dang Ross, thank you. Uh, we're gonna use the Pyrotech Kraken to bust into this guy right here. Doink. Okay, we have a sack. Look in there and see. Oh my god. <laughs> a little violent. And within. Hello? Within the sack. What is this? Candy? Are these just Legos? Bro, Lego minifigs? Whoa! Oh. Yeah, dude. Oh. What is that? More Lego minifigs? Oh, 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 dude. Bro, nothing left in there. Get it out of here. Stop the presses. We got Lego keychains and a couple Lego minifigs. I'm pumped about this. I already cut one of these open, so we're going to open one of them. And me and Carol open the rest. I love, I love a minifig. Everybody loves a minifig. Which one did I cut into? This one. This one. Move aside, Legos. God, I'm such a child. I did just wake up. I f***ing love Legos. If you don't... I don't care how old you are. If you don't adore Legos, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life, dude? What's going on in here? What the hell is all this? Is this like a wheelchair? What's going on here? Sport! Oh, <laughs> of course, this is the one I open. It's the wheelchair Paralympic guy. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta slap his wheels on. <laughs> I had no idea this was a thing. Yeah, dude, he's a Paralympic athlete. My dude's out here doing triathlons without any legs. Come here! Bruh. Bruh. Why'd they even give him legs? It's not like he needs them. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a savage, dude. He's got his helmet. And he's got gold medals? We have options? Give him, Let me give my man a gold medal right quick. Yeah! <laughs> I love, I love Legos. Oh, oh! Squirrely little bastard. Yeah, get that. Get that. Stop. Stop. Get that. Look at this. Gold medalist. Paralympic athlete. Dude, even the wheels are canted. The attention to detail. Wow. My dude's out here. F and his hands fit perfectly. Look at this guy. Look at him. Oh, God. Look at him go. Wow. Thank you, Dang Ross. You shouldn't have. We're going to bust open the rest of those at a later date. Those are sick. Pumped. My little guy, he's going to sit. He's going to sit. Right, well, my face will be there. So he's going to sit right here off camera. Right there. Okay, anyway, there's a knife in here uh, that we're going to open up. Packaging looks cool as shit. I think this is a knife? Bag knives. Oh, shit, I remember what this is. Dude. Dude, this will be a two-for-one special video. Uh, Bag knives, 120 bucks. I forgot you were sending this. Yes! So I, I reviewed not too long ago. The Bag Knives Bodega, which is what this thing is. God, this thing's a tank. Oh, D2 on the blade, hollow ground, draw point with a subtle poon, quality stuff. G10 stainless frame lock. These are about 120 bucks. Um, but I got to tell you, dude, their build quality and their fit and finish, even though they're kind of budget materials, is so good. Like the price point totally makes sense to me. Their design language isn't going to be for everybody. I got to tell you, most of their knives, it's not for me. But the Bodega, for whatever reason, is this big... Look how big this thing is. This big, ridiculous knife that I just... Mwah, I just think it's badass. Uh, I like the Astio a little bit. Not as much as this. And I like the uh, Mini Glimpse. But the Bodega is my fave. Uh, Android Goat, let me borrow one. So, Dang Ross, thanks for the Legos. Thanks for the Bodega, dude. F yeah. Future me, cut that. Uh, action on these is superb. Detent is just violent. Makes a damn good noise. 
Again, nice thin hollow ground D2 blade. It's just crazy looking. Cuts like a dream. Fidgets with the best of them. And on the bodega, you can reverse flick it. So for me, of the whole lineup, for the money, I'm going bodega as my top. Top. You heard it here first, for, you heard it here first folks. Tri-State's top bag pick. The bodega. Grab you one. But I have another package. We got this thing. Uh, It just says made in China. So we're going to open this with the bodega. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Sick. Sick, 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 sick. All right, very cool. Very cool. This is going to Canada as soon as I'm done with the viddy. Um, so I'm, well, I have other bubble wrap. Sorry. This is, uh, who won this? Future me, who does this belong to? This belongs to someone. Petrified fish. Uh, pump. Been a minute. Couple budget bangers today. All right. Uh, Petrified Fish, PFE04W Scholar, Satin 154CM Blade, White Handle, Money Shot? Oh, it's sealed. Sorry, dude, I gotta open your knife. This is one I've never checked out. I've always been interested. Um, Money Shot? Oh, Violent Money Shot. We got extra hardware, bonus points PF. We got stickers, we got paperwork, we got a cleaning cloth. And it's bigger than I thought. They usually are. What can I say? They usually are. All right. The Scholar. This came out a while ago. Not a new knife. Definitely one I've wanted to check out. But this is one I got to forward along to China. Wow. Very, very clean. White G10. Black G10 backspacer. Is that a titanium clip? Are you joshing me? Titanium clip? We have a beautifully crowned spine. Real nice toothy jimping. Front flipper and a front flipper only. But this would be a good one to add studs to or flick and holds. Just ask him for it. Minimal hardware. T6 on the body. T8 on the pivot. T6 on the clip here. Oh, yeah, dude. It's like an old school straight razor. That's sick. That's sick. Hollow ground uh, 154CM blade. This kind of cleaver straight razor kind of vibe going on. Oh, oh, baby. Close size comparison. Spider Cup pair three. Where's the rock? It's right here. Rock wall? Yeah, dude. So, it's bigger. Probably PM2 size and length, but about rock wall thickness. It's not all that big. Uh, very, very nice. Yeah, that is a cool knife. Uh, can I reverse flick this thing? I can. So, Ergo's in and choke back. Yeah, easy four-finger grip. No problem. Locked in. Nice contoured scales. Choke up right about here. Thumb on that jimping. Also feels great. Huge finger choil. Is that dust on the blade? Is it dusty? Weird. Uh, it's probably like a dry lube to keep it protected. Yeah, choke up. Huge finger toil. That feels great. Locked in. As you can see, tons of meat sticking out the ass end of this thing. But it is what it is. Whatever. Feels really comfy. That crown spine. Pinch grip. Sure. It's a little long, a little awkward. But yeah, I'm locked and loaded, dude. Sure, why not? I'm, I'm there. All right. Very cool knife. It is a stain, uh, yeah, stainless liner lock. Easy access to that liner. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, running on ceramic bearings. Front flipper to front flipper, uh, flipper only. I literally just woke up. Forgive me. You can kind of reverse flick it. Thumb flick. Man, you can pinch and roll it. Dude, this thing needs studs. Needs studly wuddlies. But I love this profile. This old school straight razor profile. It's so useful. This blade shape with the pinch grip. It's just so useful in a day-to-day. -day, right? Bust open boxes. Break down some... Uh, Junk mail, whatever. I don't know what you do with your knives. I'm not judging you. But that is a good looking thing. I'll show you an open size comparison. Action's kind of awkward. Maybe it's just because it's early and I'm unmedicated, but I'm really struggling to front flip it. Uh, Spider Cup Air 3, Tactile Rock Wall. Yeah, it's got some length on it, dude. <laughs> it's, it's got some length on it. Hold on. Yeah, dude. All right. Okay. All right. Now, I got to figure out this action. Yeah, I mean, if you can. All right. I think my hands just haven't woken up yet. Sure, yeah, the action's fine. It's a little awkward. Can I do the reach around? I can't. Lefty? Yeah. It needs studs, man. I think the pivot placement is the issue here. Because I got good grip on that, on that front flipper. Oh, God, it just takes a lot of strength to get that blade going. It's a lot of blade to get going. But, man, that is a cool knife. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. It needs studs. It needs a flicking hole. I get what they were going for. That old school straight razor like barbershop aesthetic. And they nailed it. But I do want to see if that blade's going to cut anything. It looks like it will. Oh, 
Well, look at that. We got we got this thing laying around. Sure. Let's see. Yeah, sure. A little bit toothy, but it works. Absolutely. No problemo, baby. Very comfy in the hand. Absolute mince meat. Huh? A plus. Good stuff. The Petrified Fish Scholar. A Lego paraplegic uh, athlete. And the Todd Bag uh, or the Big Nice Bodega. Not a bad morning, if I do say so myself. That is it for me. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Become a channel member, Patreon member. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. Uh, I will leave links to the Bodega and the Scholar down below. I believe I have discount codes for this somewhere. So check the description. I'll save you 10%. Well, maybe, maybe five. Maybe I won't save you anything. Only one way to find out. But that is it for me. Thank you, Tang Ross, for the knife. And uh, whoever you are, my Canadian brother, Jay. Jay Corks got in from Canada. I will get this box back up after the live stream today and sent home to you. But that is it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.